In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the incremental unit time learning model when it comes to learning curve analysis. So with this model, we're going to assume that the incremental time it takes to produce an additional unit is going to decrease by a constant percentage each time the production doubles. So here's how that's going to play out. So here in this column, we've got the number of units produced, and we also have that on the axis here okay, in our graph. Okay, now, we've got the individual time to make the x unit. So for, to make the very first unit, we're going to assume that it takes 100 hours. Now to make the second unit, notice that production has doubled. We went from 1 to 2. So we've doubled, right? 2 is double 1. Okay, so now we're going to say, I'm going to assume here we've got an 80% learning curve, but it could be a 65% learning curve, could be 90%, whatever. But in this case, we're going to assume 80%. So 80% production has doubled from 1 to 2. So we're going to say that the time it takes to make that extra unit, that second unit, is going to be 80% of what it took to make the first unit. And if it took 100 hours to make the first unit, 80% uh, times 100 is 80 now, the next time production doubles, so we went from 1 to 2, but then from 2 to 4. So 2 to 4, we say, okay, well, what did it take before? It was 80 hours, okay, to make that second unit. And now we say, okay, well, what's the incremental uh, time to make that, that fourth unit? We're going to say 80% of 80, okay, because, again, we're using 80% learning curve. That's why I keep using 80%. So 80% of 80 is going to be 64 Okay, and then we go, we double again from 4 to 8 and from 8 to 16. So now you see basically how I'm coming up with the numbers in this column. Okay, so this again is the incremental time. So we say, well, it's 100 hours to make the first one, but then to make that second one is 80. So the cumulative total time would be 180 to make two, two units because it was 100 to make the first one, 80 to make the second one. Or if you said, well, what about three units? And we say, okay, three is basically the sum of this column here. Okay. Now, the cumulative average time per unit, if you're curious, so we say, okay, well, you know, if it was 100 hours to make the first one, 80 to make the second, then we say, well, 180 is the total cumulative time. You could divide that by two and then get 90. But we don't have to worry about that here. Let's focus on this column right here because this is what we're actually going to plot in our graph. So this column right here, this is right here. This is this axis in the column. So basically what you see is that the incremental time is what I talked about here before with our assumption with this model. The incremental time to produce an extra unit, it is coming down as we produce more and more units. So again, just to be clear, so we've got here the incremental time. And again, if we were using a 70% learning curve, then we say like, okay, every time production doubles, uh, we it would be 70. So instead of this being 80, it would be 70 hours. So you could do any type of learning curve. But here again, we got 80%. Every time production doubles, we're going to say, okay, what well, is 80% of 100? So then that's 80. So then it must be, we are assuming that to, to, to make that second unit, we already made the first one, it took 100 hours. To make that second unit, is now going to take 80% of the time that it took to make uh, the one before. Okay, and then when we say, okay, we'll get to the fourth one, we're doubling production again. Well, 80% of before. Well, before we were talking about uh, 80. Okay, before production, uh, you know, um, and when we just made two units, and now we make four units. We get to that fourth one. The incremental, the incremental cost, okay, to go from three to four is going to be 64 hours. 